Good morning, folks. Like to start by reminding everyone that Earth's orbit around the Sun is not a perfect circle, and we're currently residing on the furthest point on our orbit from the Sun the whole year. In early January, Earth will be closest to the Sun of any place on our orbit. Speaking of orbit, you're looking at the Earth orbiting satellite fleet, not the solar sats like SDO, SOHO, and Stereo. These look back at Earth. You can actually see the now defunct Jason 1 still part of the animation. Most of Earth's animations I show of weather, climate, quakes, moisture, or pretty much anything else came from one of these. I have also linked an article specifically dedicated to the fleet from NASA's Earth Observatory. Quick addition to the Energy from Space series I mentioned yesterday. Put this in that context. Methane is not only four times the potent greenhouse gas that CO2 is, but it's increased four times more than CO2 versus pre-industrial levels. That video name again was Energy from Space. Cyanobacteria alert once more, this time across the pond in the Baltic Sea. Please keep your kids and pets safe. Ay, las ondas. These are some serious waves, folks, and are expected to continue through the weekend. What's interesting is that Chile is used to this, but for the rest of us, it surely is an unusual sight. For weather today, all top watches are in the west. That second developing region is now named Eric, trudging behind the dying storm from days ago. Atlantic was predicted to be bad this year, but so far, south of Mexico has had the non-stop threats. Elsewhere, flooding in the southeast is getting very bad and might begin to get disastrous today and tonight. Do not drive through water unless you are sinkhole hunting or out of your frickin' mind. Space weather starts with flares. They have been unable to match their opening night M flare performance. Got lots of smaller C flares. Let's quickly analyze the traditional spreader leading the group. Got beta polarity, but very well divided umbrally. Coming to 1785 and 87, constantly morphing, and as of 555 AM, I only see two delta spots, both in 85. Remember, you need both polarity umbras within the penumbral region. The central mixing umbras are one, and the other is building between that dividing leading positive spot. Could get fun here soon if it creates opposite polarity umbras within it or splits the leading spot. Might already be happening. Solar wind? Hello, squirrel fart. That tiny CME I made fun of days ago has arrived this morning as the yellow speed wasn't expected to budge much, but you certainly see an order of magnitude increase in the orange density. This took a strong cut at the GOES magnetometer, and the elevated electron counts responded immediately. Without major speed or a bit more density, there is not yet magnetic instability and the KP index is calm. You might remember the central umbral field separated left of center and opened wide, taking the first six pointer in days, the African uptick from yesterday, and just before she was able to close again last night, and as the coronal hole spent their last day facing Earth, we took a 6.1 in Papua New Guinea, and as of 6 a.m. Eastern, have not yet seen a 5-pointer since the umbral field closed. Actually might have another tiny CME in the works. Certainly nothing major, but the surface events you see here might have ejected material. Shots of our star to close? Eyes open. No fear, it's 6.45 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.